For some reason, Brandon Parker is a better left tackle than he is a right tackle. Today, we're going to look into that. Now, before we jump off the rails and I really get into this, I want to kind of share with you guys why I say that. Brandon Parker played left tackle two games this season. Colt Miller ended up getting hurt and didn't play. Uh, and in those two games, he didn't give up any sacks. Now, he did give up two quarterback hits and one pressure in total in those two games. But when you compare that to what he was like in 2019 and 2018, uh, he gave up 10 sacks in 2018. And then even in 2019, he played right tackle every single snap, and he gave up three sacks and two quarterback hits. And he played half the snaps in 2019 than he did in 2020. In 2020, uh, he gave up one sack. So obviously, he's gotten better as a football player. But he does look better, in my opinion, at left tackle than right tackle. And let's jump into it. Now, I want you guys to watch Bradley Chubb here and Brandon Parker here. And tell me if you've ever seen Brandon Parker make a block like this. Look at the confidence that he plays with. Watch the punch. Watch the aggressiveness. Like he's on an island out here with, with a, one of the league's best pass rushers. He, he does a double-handed punch. And then, uh, you know, Chubb tries to get underneath him and Parker puts him down. And then he gets aggressive with him and he makes sure he stays down. I've never seen this Brandon Parker, and this isn't the only play in which he beats up on the Denver Broncos defensive end. Uh, let me show you guys a couple more plays, uh, and then we'll get into some running plays as well. Uh, again, this is week 10 against the Denver Broncos, so uh, there's definitely two games, and we'll get into the other one as well. Here's a great play. You're going to see Brandon Parker at left tackle. Uh, Chubb is basically not going to come. He's going to actually drop back and watch Brandon Parker's... Uh, awareness his vision he's going to basically see that Bradley Chubb isn't going to come and he's going to pick up this defensive tackle let me just speed it up here um, so as you guys see Chubb's going to drop back he's going to drop back in coverage I mean Brian and Parker man look at how quickly he's out of his stance look at this man he's already moving before the ball and that's not a false start right uh, that just means he's faster out of his stance than is Rodney Hudson at snapping the ball uh, but as soon as he realizes that Chubb is not coming, I mean, he puts a punch on number 93 and he stops him in his track. And he gives Derek that time, the ability to take that deep shot to Ruggs. Um, of course, you know, he got that corner on Ruggs kind of tucking at him. Um, I think this one goes through Ruggs' hands, if I'm not mistaken here. But either way, from Brandon Parker's perspective, man, he's faster he looks snappier he looks more aggressive he just looks better playing left tackle and i can explain this very easily sometimes people are just more comfortable on one side of the ball as opposed to the other right uh, the way he's lined up right you see that way that left foot is back and that right foot is forward and you compare him to sam young over here where sam young has his right foot back and his left foot forward uh, their stances are the opposite because one's playing the right side, one's playing the left side. And again, it does matter. Brandon Parker was a left tackle in college. I, I think even at the senior bowl, he was a left tackle. Uh, and he's more comfortable at left tackle, and it makes a huge difference for some players. Uh, personally, I was a right guard, and I'm right-handed. So for me, right guard just made more sense. It was easier. Uh, playing left guard believe it or not, was so much more difficult because I never practiced left guard. I only practiced right guard. And with Brandon Parker, he looks better from that left side. He looks quicker. He looks more sharper. Uh, he looks better, man. And I'm going to show you guys a couple more plays. Man, I want you guys to watch this play and watch the power that Brandon Parker brings right here, man. Uh, if, if Denzel Good did not, if Denzel Good was not there, Brandon Parker would have put Bradley Chubb in the ground. And I think that's Bradley Chubb. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but right here, man, this is this is a battle, man. Look at this. And right there, Parker would have put him down and Good kind of stood him up. So Bradley Chubb's lucky right there, if you ask me. But uh, just from a technique perspective, Brandon Parker takes the initial punch. And Chubb is basically going to just try to swat those hands down. And for the most part, he does. Right? He does swat Parker. Uh, now, understanding that Parker is going to set the up in a 45 degree set which means he's going to jump Bradley Chubb he's not gonna let Bradley Chubb get up field he's not gonna uh, you know he's not gonna go too far back where Chubb can easily get to the inside he's gonna set this up at a 45 and then you're gonna see he's gonna just punch he's not leaning right but the one way that Parker could easily lose is if Chubb gets to the inside 
Uh, the way the defensive ends, what they're going to want to do is they're going to want to swat those hands and then quickly get to the inside. So there's the swat. And typically, most guys would get off balance. Parker doesn't really get off balance. Uh, Parker quickly gets back and just throws that second punch super quickly. Uh, and Chubb tries to then swim. And, and again, that's not going to work. He's off balance. Parker's on the inside of Chubb at this point. He's won, man. And he should have put his ass down. We're lucky Denzel Good was right there to hold him up, man. Um, that's a great block, man. Brian, Brandon Parker at left tackle is, is different, man. He, he's he's really different. So uh, let me stop talking. Let me show you guys like 10 more plays. Let's just jump into the next play. I'm going to show you guys this rep right here because Brandon Parker actually loses. And it would not be fair if I don't show you his losing reps. Uh, he's going to lose with speed, right? And this is one thing that I've seen Brandon Parker lose with from the right tackle position. Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, this was Brandon Parker's, I think this was the second game, actually. Uh, this is the first game actually starting. I think he came in midweek last week, which was the Chargers game. Um, but you guys see, and he doesn't lose in the in the sense that Carr gets killed because Carr throws the ball, but the guy was close, and the guy clearly beat Brandon Parker because Brandon Parker's in, in the dirt, right? Um, but the defensive end, and I believe that's Chubb. I should probably just confirm. It is. It looks like it is Chubb. Um, he's going to basically long arm, get that arm in there, and then boom, he's going to yank Brandon Parker. Uh, and Brandon Parker is kind of leaning. He's trying to match power with power. Um, and it's okay. DC still gets a throw off, but it is incomplete. Um, interestingly, I, I feel like Andrew Ruggs, man, like when he, when, when Ruggs and DC get this connection, man, uh, like Ruggs just separates. Like he's already separating from this guy. Like if DC puts this out over here somewhere towards the bottom of the screen, I mean Ruggs, man, he's gonna be a special player, man. I I really feel like the speed he brings once DC feels comfortable throwing him the ball, uh, he he's just a natural separator. He's just speedy. He's quick. He's fast. Um, obviously, this would have been a tight throw, but uh, and and does design wise, right? It's a nice design. Get you get rugs going deep. The safety kind of gets out of the way. Uh, if if you know Aguilar is able to make this catch, right? If that's Julio Jones, if that's Antonio Brown, if that's Amari Cooper, those guys make that catch, right? Nelson Aguilar is not any of those guys, but uh, you know, regardless, let's let's get into a couple more reps because there's a lot of good reps, right? You know, this was obviously one of i think two or three reps in which he lost keeping in mind he played 70 snaps in this game specifically so uh, let me show you guys a couple more reps all right guys check this rep out you're gonna see the left tackle and left guard uh they're going to actually there's gonna be a stunt that happens between this defensive end and this linebacker uh but uh brandon parker picks it up well first and foremost he passes this defensive end to denzel good quickly um now this 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 defensive and or linebacker, I should say, actually he's going to step back out, out of coverage anyways. But Denzel Good was ready for it, man. He, he did a good job, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, Carr hits Waller right there in the middle middle of the field, man. Uh, great throw, great route, great catch. Offense line did their job. Um, maybe not on the right side so much. Uh, you see uh, Chubb get through right there. Kind of beats Gabe Jackson. But uh, the left tackle, left guard, man, when, you know, when these guys want to do these stunts, when these guys want to bring, you know, a guy comes in, a guy comes out, you got to be able to see it. You got to be able to pick it up. Parker sees it quickly, he passes that guy off to, to good. And yeah, he would have picked it up, man. But uh, either way, good play. Uh, let's jump forward. Let's, let's, let's actually look at some running plays because I think there's some good reps there. Uh, I want to just share with you guys really quickly. Our power run blocking looks so terrible, man. It's sad to watch it at times. And I've noticed this in the past. Brandon Parker does a fine job. You're going to see him. Uh, he basically is just going to get to the inside. He's going to go up and then just contain the inside of, of Chubb here. Um, Parker, you'll see, does a good job. And then I want to show you guys a couple other guys. Parker, good job. You know, locks up with Chubb. Uh, he, he contains him. He shuts him down, right? There's no way he, his guy would have ever made the play. It's just the gain, gain of a couple yards. But, I mean, just, like, watch, you know, just watch, like, Rodney and Denzel good, you know. And I don't know. It, it just, in my opinion, it just kind of looks ugly. Gabe Jackson's in there as well. You know, and they're trying to, like, power this. Sam Young, who weighs, like, 285 pounds. 
um, you know, it, it is interesting, right? It is interesting because this game specifically, I think we did a ton more power than we had ever done in the past. And that's the opposite of Sam Young, right? Sam Young is a zone guy, uh, which is one of the reasons why the Raiders actually brought him back this year. Uh, at the same time, Leatherwood zone, Colton zone, Denzel zone, James zone, uh, Richie zone, right? So we ha we're going to run zone a ton more this year as opposed to last year. We had guys like Trent, Gabe, and Rodney who um, could do both, but like Gabe and Rodney specifically were uh, power guys. Um, and then Brandon Parker at the same time, in my opinion, he's more of a power guy, but he could block zone as well. And I'll show you guys those, those zone runs as well, and I'll show you guys uh, what I mean by that. All right, you guys, here's a, a backside run in the zone stretch that the Raiders going to run. Basically, he just needs to get to the inside of 73 and just slow him down enough where your guy is able to get to the outside, uh, to the opposite side. Uh, obviously, this play doesn't hit. It's a, you know, we're running this to the short side of the field. Um, but from Brandon Parker's perspective, he, he did his job, right? He, he's not asked to do much more than just shut the backside down. down. Um, if you're able to, uh, if, if you're the last guy when it comes to the backside, you need to get your guy down. In this case, he isn't. It would be Darren Waller. So Darren Waller would need to get number 97 to the ground. Um, and he really doesn't, which is okay. Uh, the running back takes his front side anyways. Uh, there was really no gap. I, I think it was just a gain of a yard or two. But uh, either way, Brandon Parker, pretty good job. Let's jump forward into the next rep. Check this play out. This is a good block by Brandon Parker in the, in the sense that uh, he does exactly what he needs to do. He needs to get to the inside of 47. And he does it, but Josh Jacobs, man, he's, this is why I think Josh Jacobs is special, man. So 75 gets to the inside of 47. The gap is right here. I know it's a small gap. Denzel Good needs to move his guy a little bit more, but this is where the gap is. This is where Josh should be going. Uh, but ultimately, Josh sees it, man. He sees the outside lane and he just cuts it. He cuts it out. Uh, 47 doesn't, doesn't obviously get, get there. Um, and yeah, Josh picks up a nice chunk of yards right here. If, uh, Waller gets that guy right there to the ground. Um, that's a touchdown, man. That's a horrible block by Darren Waller. But uh, either way, it's a great run by Josh. Great block by Brian Parker. And even though basically Josh Jacobs made his block not really count. Uh, but it does show that from the zone perspective, he does know that you know at times he has to get to the inside of these guys and and when he knows he has to do that he can do it um, I will say this from watching these running plays from Brandon Parker the aggressiveness he shows in pass blocking I want to see that in run blocking now I will say this he plays right tackle most of the time and I think when you're playing right tackle most of the time when you have to go back to left tackle even though that's what you might want to play it, it makes it harder right because Going back to left tackle, you haven't been practicing that over the last two years. You primarily have only played on the right side, even in like all of preseason. Uh, he primarily plays right tackle, right? And I don't know if that's just because they're so confident in Colton, but regardless, it is interesting. Let's jump forward into the next rep. Jumping forward to this next rep, uh, you're going to see Brandon Parker. Uh, he basically th th just gets right here to the inside. He blocks out. This is just everyone blocking out. Uh, this is just iso run a fullback takes on that linebacker um you know <laughs> you know <laughs> i i hate i hate doing this man i hate doing this to rodney because he was such a great football player but this is why the raiders got rid of rodney hudson man you look at this play right here rodney hudson's on the ground and rodney hudson losing his block is why josh jacobs picks up one yard on this play or two yards or three yards whatever it is that he ended up picking up but it's because of things like this, right? Like number 90 literally just swats Hudson and Hudson just falls forward and, and is in the ground. And that, that nose blows the play up, man. Um, now, this is a power block, right? It's the ISO where everybody's just blocking out. Um, the fullback has to kill this linebacker. Obviously, that's not Alec Ingold's game. He's not a killer. He doesn't block that way. He's more of a finesse blocker, pass catcher. Um but Brandon Parker does a good job, right? And I guess this is a Brandon Parker video, so that's all that matters. Brandon Parker does a good job. He he wins his block. Uh, Denzel Good, man, that's that's a that's a block right there. You watch you watch Denzel Good throw this guy. And again, I said this earlier about Good holding up uh, Parker before when Parker was about to pancake someone. Uh, good was about to pancake someone right there, and Parker holds him up. So 
Uh, it returns the favor for him right there, but let's jump forward, man. I showed you guys one of these plays last week when it was Denzel Good. Uh, this one, it's it's Brandon Parker. Uh, look at how him and Good together drive this guy, man. Like, they push him backwards. <laughs> and Josh is untouched for, like, five, six yards. Um, you know, again, Brandon Parker, I, I just said this a little while ago. Or I think I said this a little while ago. Brandon Parker, I think, is more of a power guy. He could, he could play in his own scheme, but... Uh, you know, it's interesting that we took someone like him so high uh, in the third round specifically over a guy like Orlando Brown Jr. I think Orlando Brown would have been a better zone fit for the Raiders. I know he's a little bit slower, but uh, when it comes to like being smart, uh, that's him, man. Like Orlando Brown's a smart football player, right? So he, he could have fit that zone system. And we took Brandon Parker instead of Orlando Brown, even though I think Brown, and I think we traded up in front of Orlando Brown being taken. Either way, great block by Brandon Parker. This is the type of stuff that I want to see from him. I want him to double, and I want him to drive people. And he does have that. He is a big football player. Are right, you guys jumping forward to this zone run? You're going. You guys are going to see that basically there's going to be a double, and then he's going to get up to number 47. He's going to let go of 95, um, and you're going to see the running back cut this cut this backside. Man, that's a great run right there by Devontae Booker at the same time. Uh, Brandon Parker recognizes it, man. Number 95 is trying to stay to the inside. Good has him. He gets off of him. He picks up 47. Great zone block. And I do want to switch it up and go get into, I believe it was week nine when Brandon Parker played against the Chargers. So let me show you guys a couple of those snaps as well. This is a really nice down block by Brandon Parker on this defensive tackle. Uh, that's a good block, man. He, he contains him. He shuts it down. And uh, basically, he allows his guards and center to get out there and basically allows the running back uh, to pick up a ton of yards, man. Great block by Brandon Parker. You're going to see him take on Melvin Ingram. Pretty nice rep. Uh, you know, I, I do want to kind of talk a little bit about this. Do I think Brandon Parker is a starting caliber offensive tackle? I do not. Right now, I, I don't think he is. However, I will say this, right? I, I think in 2020, he showed enough upside that if you let him play one position specifically, just left tackle, I do think he's ultimately better than Sam Young, right? Like, uh, as a right tackle, right? I think I think Brandon Parker is a better left tackle than is Sam Young a right tackle. And he is getting better, in my opinion. Like, in you know, 2018 especially, Brandon Parker was the worst offensive lineman I had ever seen in my lifetime. Um, and maybe there was, you know, maybe that's a little over-exaggerating, but even in 2019, he gave up three sacks, and he played like 170 snaps, right? Like, that's so many sacks for only pay playing uh, like 170 snaps. So, to give up that many sacks, I was very disappointed. Again, you know, we could have gotten Orlando Brown Jr., and we took him instead. Um... But in 2020, he did show promise. And if he continues to build on that, and I do think the Raiders are not doing him justice by making him the swing tackle, right? I don't, I, I think the Raiders are making a mistake. I, I think we should just let him be the backup left tackle and just let Sam Young be the backup right tackle. Just, just keep it that way. Because I kind of feel like what's going to end up happening is Brandon Parker is going to maybe go to another team right after his contract ends and maybe go start somewhere else and, and i'm not i'm not i wouldn't be mad at that right the raiders have colton and alex other good we're fine with our tackles um but i do feel that he may end up going somewhere else and starting as a true left tackle uh, it's kind of happened with some of the raiders past tackles right? i think david sharp started for the washington football team last year david sharp wasn't a bad football player he was, he was pretty good in my opinion but uh, you know, I, again, I, I do think there are, are some good traits that Parker has shown on film. But I want to know what you guys think, man. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Does this video change your mind at all of Brandon Parker? Do you guys think he's a better left tackle than he is a right tackle? Do you guys think, uh, you know, do you guys think he's just not a good football player? And should the Raiders bring him back? He's in his final year of his contract, right? Fourth and final year. What do you guys think? Or do you guys think... Sam Young should just be the the, the, the Raiders backup. Uh, maybe keep Denzel good as that swing tackle slash you know starting guard. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys 
did you know get some sort of knowledge out of this video and i appreciate every single one of you guys enjoy the rest of your guys's weekend and i will see you guys next time with another video